So you got the diabetes. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's Allie. I'm on a fantabulous weight loss journey and I have the diabetes. But all, uh, all joking aside, roll that beautiful bean footage. Diabetes, 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 diabetes. Thank you, Wilford. Diabetes, 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 diabetes. Diabetes, 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 diabetes,
uh, one of which is the medication that I'm on, which is Monjaro, um, along with diet and exercise. And Kevin is already bored with this conversation. <laughs> so I, um, I have been doing, as you can see, the diet and exercise lifestyle changes part um, and the losing weight part. I'm down um, almost 50 pounds and I am going to continue to do those things. Um, in that regard, I am a very good patient. Um, in the other regard, I am not so much a good patient. Um, I don't track my blood sugars. Um, I very rarely have them get low and when they do, um, I keep things on hand in case I have an issue. These are just from Walgreens. They're little glucose tabs. Um, I keep them at my desk and I keep them here beside me in the bed. Um, I can feel when a low is coming on because I, I don't have a lot of lows. And I, I think again, purely speculation here, that it's because my diabetes was caught so soon. So um, I, it's not like my numbers had gotten so ridiculously high, like I see with some people, um, where they do have to, you know, take insulin or um, really regulate their sugars or, um, you know, use the glucose monitor you know, every day or twice a day or, right? I, that's not the case with me. Again, this is why I haven't made this video because it's not, in in my view, it's not very helpful to somebody with diabetes. Um, I've been very fortunate. I'm very lucky. It's not the case for everyone. So I don't really, I don't want to come on here and act like I know all about it. Um, what little I do know from my research is that the most successful diet plan for reversing type two diabetes um, and type one uh, is a diabetic vegan diet. And I am still researching exactly how to do that. Um, so more info to come on that, you know, as I get it, but it is something that I am considering doing long term, both for my overall health, right, with a vegan diet, um, vegan diets that are healthy and not comprised of a lot of processed foods. Um, they can be very high volume, low calorie density, right? Plants, you can eat a lot of them and they don't have a whole lot of calories, which may be beneficial to me in my weight loss journey and also in maintenance, right? To not only keep me at a healthy weight once I, once I reach it, but also to help maintain those blood sugars. And um, there are a lot of other things <clears throat> that that diet can do. I'll, I'll put some info up over here. So yeah, um, as far as my blood work goes, I'm already seeing results, which is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> I'll put those up over here on the screen for you so you can see my improvement so far. And um, I'm very, very happy with the results. For anybody who's tuning into this video who doesn't follow me already, um, I spent 13 weeks on 2.5 milligrams before I moved up to five. I am now on five. And... Um, I am just doing my best to stay at the lowest doses possible where I still see results. So getting these lab work results in is, is very, very good, um, both in the opinion of my doctor and myself, because we're seeing improvement and, and we're still at, you know, level two, essentially. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to stick with it. And yeah, uh, as far as diet goes right now, 
I focus mainly on protein. I've mentioned before that I will select my protein and then build my meal around that. And I have a lot of convenience foods that make it very easy for me to choose items um, that are healthy and for the most part keep my carbs lower. Not really, really low, certainly not a low carb diet and definitely not keto. But, um, it, you know, I don't get it 100% right, right? So in that sense, um, I suck and I'm human. And it's, it's definitely a learning curve, but it's something that I'm invested in doing and some days are better than others. So, um, I feel for people that are, you know, on these medications because they're diabetic and their numbers are significantly higher. They've got more challenges. They may be on insulin, right? They may be on metformin, like all of these things can be very challenging. And as a diabetic, statistically, we tend to lose weight slower um, and at much smaller amounts. And again, um, you know, I, I am very grateful for my one to two pounds of weight loss every week because there are those who struggle with it, you know, losing a pound a month. And I I feel for them because I, I know that's got to be frustrating. Um, so, yeah. So to answer the question of, you know, why do I focus on weight loss um, here on my channel? And well, I mean, for now, that's my main goal. That is my main focus. I need to lose weight so that I can get these, you know, lab values, I can get them down, get to a, a healthier weight so that it's easier for me to exercise and implement more of the lifestyle changes that have already started. Um, I've mentioned in previous videos that the exercise that I'm doing currently um, is much more light, and that's because I I don't want to injure myself. I, I was starting out at a much higher weight at 285, and I have also seen a good number of people post that you know, they started out with the exercise, they were hitting it hard, and then they had an injury, right, because they're at a higher weight, and it caused them to not be able to exercise at all. So really, I'm, I'm just doing my level best to um, take it easy, take it slow, be consistent, and do the best that I can. Um, but also give myself a little bit of grace that this isn't going to happen overnight. I'm not going to suddenly be healthier overnight. Um, it's a process. And not only is it a weight loss process, but it's also a learning process. Um, you know, every meal is an opportunity to make a healthy choice. And for me, I was really coming from a place of overeating, binge eating, um, food addiction, Right. And so there were a lot of things that were working against me, including my own self, including my own body. Right. And it's just one of those things you have to tackle one at a time. And I think that where people really get down on themselves is they try to do too much at once. So my one takeaway from this conversation of diabetes is give yourself some grace, make healthy choices, do the best you can with, you know, whatever the parameters of your condition are that you're working with. And um, you will see results if you're consistent. Um, yeah, so anyway, Thank you for tuning in. If you made it this far in the video, give me a thumbs up. 
Um, if you also have the diabetes, then comment down below and tell me what are you doing? Are you checking your sugars daily? Are you getting your blood work every three months? Have you noticed improvements? Share with me your success to help me stay motivated to continue to work towards that goal of being healthy. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.